everybody, we are at a canyoneering trip today and we're just outside of Mobile and Seabee Island. We're going to uh, take three hours, we're going to go canyoneering to an awesome waterfall and uh, the canyoneering company that we're starting with is Joe Pro Adventures. So we'll take you along with us and hopefully it's a good day. Okay, so they bust us up to the top of the hill and now you have a couple choices either to take a motorbike up to a zip line and zip line down to the first jump which, which is about a 10 minute walk after that or you could choose to walk right to the first jump which is about an hour's walk so we're gonna jump on the zip line and uh, zip line down to the first jump <laughs> We're just about to get on a zip line. We're cannoneering, but they also have a zip line to go down. Jim's a little afraid of heights. I'm not so much, but it looks like it should be a lot of fun. We'll see you on the other side. Fun is going to be the word. How do you feel about this? Safety first. I'm not liking this decision right now. This is not clipped, this side not clipped. This side. It's not clipped. Thank you. I can't fall out. No fault. You guys are lucky, we got stuck. Yeah. You got stuck? Yeah, I'm terrified. Oh, I was backwards the whole way. If you would have got stuck, you would have freaked out. I freaked out. If hey, we got stuck in the middle, oh. you could rescue us. The wind slowed us down. Holy shit, there's water cold. It's cold! This is a great canyoneering trip. It took about four hours, three and a half hours. Well worth it when you're in the mobile area. That's 
Kawasan Falls. Amazing stuff. Good day trip, what do you think? I'll put it on your lip. So we're here in Oslob and we're just taking a walk from our uh, homestay that we're staying at, or hotel, just down to the Oslob town center. Just pretty much one main road, the highway. <laughs> Not the greatest road, but that's uh, where everything is on the street, so we're going to go check it out. So we thought this was a casino. Because it says... Casino. Because <laughs> it says casino. Oh, and not casino. And it looks like a casino, but it's actually a supermarket. Okay. Chris has been searching for hairspray since we got to Southeast Asia, so it's almost as if every, uh, every store we go into, the first thing we're looking for is hairspray. I think she might have found some. It's not the same, but hopefully it works out this time because we've exhausted every hair place in Southeast Asia now. I think it's a success oh on hairspray. Or super nervous but um, I guess we're gonna find out when we get there but it should be a good day. We won't be venturing too far from the boat. Supply sunblock lotion or any kinds of skin protection. For these contain chemicals that can harm the wash hearts. But if
We spent a total of one night in Cebu, a very busy city, but that from there we headed over to a place called Moho and we spent a total of four nights there and carried on to Oslo for a total of two nights. During our time here we've done some amazing things. We've done some cannoneering through the rivers, we've swam with the sardines, swam with the whale sharks, seen some beautiful waterfalls and some amazing beaches as well. And we're so excited, we're headed over to Bohol today by ferry. And if you're watching this, we just want to say a sincere thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching our videos, and thank you for all of the great comments that you have left. We really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about any part of our travels, please drop a comment for Let us. Let us know. Um, we're headed across on the ferry. There is a ferry that goes from Oslo over to Bolhol, and apparently it costs about a thousand pesos each. Anyway, cheers. Cheers.